Most homes will have a wooden bed or iron bed with a back and a wooden base below to put the mattress on top. The bed base will either be fully covered or one with gaps in between. The mattress typically has a middle layer with seams on top and bottom. These seams are good hiding and movement places for bed bugs. To spread the powder, target the bottle nozzle to one corner of the bed and gently squeeze the bottle to begin the flow of powder outside. The powder should be puffed out like a smoke of dust, getting spread on the surface and not accumulated in one spot. You can proceed from one corner to another, covering the entire line on the side of the bed. Proceed in a similar manner to cover the remaining sides of the bed till you have covered all ends and corners. Do not keep the bottle too close to the bed as that will make the powder accumulate at one place. Maintaining a consistent distance will help in spreading a thin layer of powder instead of creating a mound in one place. After covering the sides well, proceed to spreading the powder over the entire base. Even if there are gaps in the bed base, cover whatever surface you have available. You may need to shake the bottle at times to loosen the powder and ensure smooth flow. We'll be covering the base with newspapers and repeating the spraying process again. Hence, even if there are gaps in the base, you need not worry about it as the layers of newspapers placed later will take care of that. As you can see, the powder has spread like dust over the surface and has not accumulated in only a few places. This will provide opportunity for maximum contact with the bugs as they move around the bed. The powder getting attached to the bugs will cut mechanically into their outer layer and dry them up over time, acting as a desiccant or drying agent. Next, we'll cover the base with newspapers to create a protective layer over the powder we will be creating two such layers of protective cover using newspapers. After covering the entire surface with a newspaper, you will need to spread the powder again like before, this time over the newspaper layer. Be liberal in spreading the powder to ensure maximum contact with the bugs. Remember, you may need to shake the bottle at times to loosen the powder inside and ensure smooth flow. Now cover again with a layer of newspaper. This creates a trap between the layers of newspapers for bugs moving around the bed. After spreading the second layer of newspapers, gently cover it with some powder dust, focusing more on the corners and sides of the bed. You may want to spread some powder gently in the area in the middle as well. Now place the mattress back on the base over the newspapers. Try to do it without moving the newspaper layers as much as possible. Please make sure you do not drag all the newspapers out with the powder while putting the mattress on top. Before doing this, it is advisable that you cover your nose with a dust mask or cloth as the powder can get puffed out on impact with the mattress. When you have placed the mattress, some ends of the newspaper may be protruding out due to movement. Just tuck them inside below the mattress. The side seams of a mattress are used by the bugs to move around when you are sleeping, so put some powder in these areas as well. You can let the powder accumulate in some areas if required. After this, you can cover the mattress with a bed cover and sleep on it as well as you want to. The powder is a natural mineral with no toxic elements, completely safe for you and your family. However, if you are allergic to dust in general, then avoid sleeping on the bed for a few days. In some mattresses, there are multiple layers above and below for softness. The sides of these mattresses have large seams that provide a bigger channel for the bugs to move around. It is important that you fill and spread the powder well in these areas if you have such a mattress. Remember, the powder has to be spread all around all such areas and not just a few locations. After you have applied the powder, Please allow it to dry for at least a week to see the results. Bed bugs moving around will come in contact with it and dry up individually in 48 to 72 hours. Leaving it spread for a week will give enough time for bugs to come in contact with the powder. After about a week, you can clean it up if you want and repeat the process after a few weeks. 
This has been a presentation from Urban's Bed Bug Powder. 